Right, so today I'm going to introduce you all to a very special build. Now, the Ram as she's called is a BT50. It has got a six wheel from the guys up at Toowoomba, but this entire setup is really unique and something we're not seeing a lot of out in the track. <music> Today I want to introduce you to Matt's rig. We're calling it the Rammer, as she's been known. But this BT50 is really unique, totally different to anything else you guys are seeing on the tracks. I'm going to show you why. All right, so I first saw this car, I think it was a show and shine. We had a Legend X a few years back. Yep, it was. And I tell you, the, the, the length of this thing, how long is this? 17 meters all up. Car all up. Van. Yeah. Sounds a lot, but at the same time, why did you go BT50 over everything else that people have done? Um, cost, mate. Cost was the... Uh, the, the driving factor. Yeah. But she still costs a fair bit, this setup. Yeah, yeah. But all up, uh, finished with everything, all the accessories, all the modifications. Um, we're still under the purchase price of the, the big trucks. So yeah. you're talking about the six wheel, mm. you're talking about the, an amazing 12 volt. You guys are going to have to check out the back in a minute. Uh, even the little jig, everything is underneath the price and full customised. Yep. Full bespoke to what you guys need. Yep. I yep. love it. All right, let's just start from front to back. Obviously, this setup's pretty unique. It's not what I'm gonna have, because I'm gonna want more bunts for my 50 kids, and I'm gonna have you know, more space in the car, but you and your wife, you obviously set this up for exactly what you need. Give us a bit of history. Yeah, well, uh, the wife has MS, yeah. so uh, um, that was a, a driving factor in building it the way we've built it. Yeah. I love the fact that it's not holding you guys back. You've gone, this is the situation, this is what we've got dealt, let's go have some fun, and you built it to do it, uh, and you're doing it. Tell me what you've done with this rig. Wait, bull bar first, uh, travelling, you don't want to be hitting any uh, mm -hmm. any ruse or anything like that. So, and the colour coding makes yeah, it all look good. Yeah, it sets it off. I mean, I love the colour of the whole car as well. Yeah. What else you got done? Well, we've got uh, we've got the big transmission cooler, um, mm -hmm. the Legend X big boy intercooler. There you go, perfect for towing that setup. Yep, yep, made a big difference. Done uh, turbo upgrade, full exhaust. The turbos on the BD50 in the <coughs> ranges are a bit weak, so if you've got that yeah. cold air in, obviously you've got this, uh, this snorkel, this standard BT50 snorkel. With all the storage you've got, I'm not certain you need more <laughs> storage. You've got more storage I've ever well, seen before. Yeah, you never know. You, you always buy souvenirs when you're on holidays. <laughs> yeah, always something in there, yep, always something. Yep. All right, so from the front of the car, you're coming down the side here now. Show yeah. us what you've got. Obviously, with the MS, you've got to set this up. So this is um, obviously you don't need a set of rock sliders because you're not going hard off road, no, but you definitely need no. the step. And then this setup back here, I love it. Well, we fit the step for the wife, make it easier for her to get in. Um, with the MS, so she's, good. she's good some of the time, but uh, when when she starts getting tired, everything helps. Yeah. All right, let's go. Hey man, you got all the gizmos in there. Obviously, a bit of a trucker's life in the past. Run me through everything, because I always get a little bit of jealousy when I just touch the button. So what have we got yeah. in here? Well, first of all, we've got um, tyre monitors. So I figured that it's uh, much easier to pull up and pump the tyre up and drive to the tyre shop than change one on the side of the highway. 100%. Um, we've got the screen on the dash, which uh, is my full-time rear vision mirror. Mm -hmm. When the caravan's plugged in and connected, um, it works off the camera on the back of the van, so big I can mirror. usually see what's behind. So you've got the big mirrors, we've got the big cameras. Yeah. Perfect. Just the UHF, put a little GPS speedo on the on the dash there for those times where you want to just get that little bit more out of it. Oh, the amount of storage I'm seeing here, I mean, obviously between the van and this is amazing. So what have we got on the roof at the moment? A bit of solar up there? Yeah, we've got a 320 watt panel, which um, runs the fridge mm -hmm. and all the lighting. And all that sort of stuff. So you're a bit of storage at the charges front. the battery to run the light. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? You've got, to, you've got to be powered up. But you've got you've got the vehicle for it. So you've got a bit of storage here as well, but you've got heaps of room. Got plenty of room, yeah. So what are you storing? Uh, look, we've got tools, um, just accessories. Um, at the moment, we've got most of the stuff out of it mm -hmm. <laughs> because we're not travelling. Yep. But, um, yeah, there's never any shortage of, of, of storage. I, I can tell you from a fact, you can always have more. <laughs> I know I can always have more. And I haven't, I haven't done a lazy axle on my Land Cruiser yet. Uh, 
but I could still do it with more, I tell yeah. you that. So what 12 volt you're running back here? What's all these uh, the gizmos? Well, we've got the two controllers, one for the larger panel, mm -hmm. which uh, maintains the fridge battery. Yep. Uh, and the smaller unit is a smaller panel up there, which um, keeps the the drive battery fully charged. Yeah, some of the remote mm. locations you're going to, you want to make sure they're separated. Yeah, yeah run two separate systems. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, got to be able to get home, but yeah. more importantly, the beer's got to stay cold too. You know? like <laughs> if you do get stuck, the beer has to ultimately be cold while you're stuck. Yeah. So you consumed it all, and then you want the main battery to work and get home. All right, so I can see here, you've got like every bit of light that I can think of too. Yeah, we've got um, <laughs> everything. <laughs> we've got lots. Well, the six-wheeler, how does it tow? Let's just start with that. Uh, tows really well. That, that longer wheelbase and the extra axle um, really planted. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I think I know it's like you said before, like they normally do a metre, but you shorten it up a little bit just because of how long you are, which is 17 metres. Yeah. Yeah, the guys at Longest six wheeler, I've seen. The guys at six-wheeler at Toowoomba, yep. uh, they recommended we just do the 800 mm -hmm. extension rather than the metre. Yeah, but you're very you're very balanced. When I, mean, I see you drive, you're so balanced. All that sort of thing I like. How's the braking? Sort of that. Braking's not too bad now. Um, we've done a few modifications, different yep. size wheel cylinders, um, yep. braided brake lines, um, just things to get a better feel. Yeah. And what's the what's the what's the road <clears throat> weight of the vehicle now? Look, it varies. It's it's around the three ton, uh, maybe a little under, a little mm -hmm. over. But you can go um, how high? We can go to forty four ninety five. So Ooh. five kilos under four and a half ton. So that, that's what yeah, that's delivered? Yeah. So you can put yeah. a lot of gear in the back of this. Yeah, and the roof, yeah. Obviously, yeah. it's a towing, it's a unique setup. Why have you gone with this one? Well, we used to get a bit of boppiness um, mm. through the car because we're not running load levelers. We don't really need to anymore. Yep. So the um, the shocker hitch has, has smoothed that, that drive. I remember before you had it mm. and after, you were like, it has to be done. You, there was a, and I've yeah. seen it now in action. I'm like, wow, this is, this is legit. Uh, the difference is day and night, really. Um, if you've got a decent size van, you really need to uh, run something something similar. Which it's got an airbag. Yeah, it's an airbag. <laughs> yeah. And that is completely changed. Obviously, you've got a little extra uh, mud flaps. Your, your truck is like that, you yeah, know, you don't want to flick yeah. too much on. That's all on it. Yeah, mate, the, the NDIS um, did help with uh, the lift and the mm -hmm. step and, and many other things at home. So, uh, yeah, every little piece helps at the end of the day. 100%. Yeah. Hey Matt, thanks for showing us the front end. Obviously, you've got a lot of storage, you've got all the gear, but really, this is where, this is the home, this is the hub right in here. What do you got? Talk to me. Well, we've got the 21 foot Majestic Garuba. Mm -hmm. uh, we upgrade to that model at the very last minute. Really? Yeah, we had a much cheaper one organised, but uh, yeah. She's good looking. I mean, obviously, uh, so what do you got for power mm -hmm. through this? We've got uh, three lithiums that um, we've got about 900 amp hours roughly of power. That's just cut it. So we fit a um, 2000 watt inverter. Um, yep. Mainly for me. I, I've got uh, sleep at me, so I run my CPAP machine with that at night. But uh, I tell you what, we don't what, have coffee makers or anything like that. No, okay. Well, yeah. the thing I like is the fact that now that I've heard how much power you got and obviously solar and AGMs, it's the water that holds you guys back. The water's the only thing that makes I you I laugh at that because most people are like, oh, I've got no power. But you've got all the power. You could run my site and everyone's site and these guys' site. <laughs> so obviously your wife's got MS, so you've got a different setup in the bathroom there? Because it's yeah. like the task for half. We chose this one, uh, the ensuite. Uh, the, the shower is enormous <laughs> for a caravan. It is. Um, so we, we can fit a, um, like a stool in there mm -hmm. and uh, if she's having a bad day, I can I can I help her out. Yep. Alright, one second. Uh, have this. So yeah, um so we'll go bed, lounge room, kitchen, fridge. Yep. Yep. Um <clears throat> Alright, okay. What do you got with it again? Say again. Bed, lounge room, kitchen. So yep. like microwave, oven, whatever, and then the fridge. Yeah, okay. So obviously in the living space there, you've got that really good little ensuite. There. It's a massive area. The bed, the lounge, because it's it's all mint in there. Yeah, it's, it's surprising that such a big van's only been built for two, really. So 
Well, I'm Only a little envious of space. Yeah. <laughs> I need like 17 bunks, as we know. Yes. But the kitchen's mint, and that fridge is huge. We've got the 210 litre fridge. It's bigger than my we, um, we opted for the straight compressor fridge, yep. so it's just 12 volt. So Why? We've, we've Why got, did you? Well, glad that you asked. Yeah, I just thought that was the uh, best way to go. Mm -hmm. um, most efficient in cooling. Um, we've got four solar panels, we've got plenty of battery life. The bed, heaps of storage under the bed, uh, that's where we've opted to fit. We've got a, um, a gas heater yeah, under yeah, the bed. Um, very cold climates, the air conditioning won't, won't actually uh, get warm well, to heat the van, so you need, yeah. a, need a separate heater. Well, you guys were heading to Tassie before <laughs> the COVID issue, so obviously you've yeah. got to be prepared for even summer's cold there. I don't know what's wrong with people in Tassie loving the cold oh. as much as they do, but it's freezing in summer. Summer's beautiful, mid 20s. Oh, hey? it's free cool freezing nights. down there. It's like our winter up here in Queensland. Um, that's their summer, it's, it's quite nice. Oh, I'm never going down in winter, I tell you that much. I'm <laughs> never doing Tassie winter. But I have done a couple of hailstorms and a few other things down there. But yeah. I do love the fact that, you know, they call these things a bus in Tassie. So it's not actually a four wheel drive. You're, it's called a bus. Like it, but this is yeah. bigger than a bus. Thank well, you, Matt, yep. thank you very much for showing us You're that. You're very welcome. Oh, I loved it. I just yep. want to make sure that everyone had a good look at it. Something really, really different. Uh, and if you're towing something, this is a really, really cool setup, particularly with your story. So thank you for sharing as well, bro. No worries. Yeah. So guys, uh, if you see Matt in the tracks, he's always open for a bit of a conversation at the campgrounds. A bit of a chat. Yeah. But for all those that can't get out there, comment below. We'll answer your questions. We'll help you as much as we can. And this has been a really cool BD50 multi-axle, because there's like 30 axles back there. All the stories, 12-volt <laughs> setup. Yeah. I'm built off-road, guys. Woo!